Hey guys, today we're gonna take a look at uh, some uh, EMF meters or testers, whatever you wanna call them, Gauss meters, milli Gauss, and you call them what you want. I'm gonna test if phones have as much radiation as uh, everybody says, and uh, I'm gonna test one phone that's 4G and 5G without Wi-Fi on, and then I'm gonna put my other phone and turn the Wi-Fi on and see which one has more radiation and uh, it will be a fun experiment i guess let me turn them all on first this one okay this is on uh i think milli gauss i'll put it since this one is gonna be on that same thing too and this one is on too and now they're all three on and now the phone this phone is off and let me try to turn it on and when it uh, while it turns on will it trigger any of these machines and moment of the truth okay the phone now is turning on and let's see if any of these uh, devices start picking up anything if anything right so at now uh, right now they're all staying at zero and the samsung is just starting yes it's one of those metro samsungs so bear with me and uh don't look at the temperature here i think it's in uh celsius i don't know why it's in celsius okay and uh, now they're picking on some uh stuff going on here on the phone the phone just started i'm not touching anything actually the phone screen is off this one here for some reason is not going anywhere and no it's not on hold let me turn off and on and the phone as you see it's triggering it somehow what is it even doing at this moment because they're both going off the charts and uh, this demonstration is uh, if you think it's safe or okay to sleep with your phone under your pillow or next to your head and obviously medical professionals will always tell you no because that's a bad idea there is always this small radiation and i'm not gonna go into the whole detail how that affects you because i don't know how to explain that scientifically since i'm not one of the scientists let me unlock the phone now and see if it changes anything and now it says phone starting i just unlocked it that's all i did right here and these are going off the charts it's not really the phone's just sitting there literally just sitting there but yeah it's doing the initial loading and all that stuff and this machine here is not moving but these two are going off the charts i'm just gonna let them go like that and see i don't know if if it's any bad this one that's going to run almost 2000 milli gauss at some point and this one's going off the red and this is the only phone i have here let me take this phone away and both went down and the phone's not really doing anything look as i bring it closer right now the phone is maybe five six feet away from them and i'm bringing the phone closer slowly as you see the numbers start changing once i start bringing the phone closer and it's not even doing anything literally the phone the screen is locked so what could possibly be triggering these devices so bad and yes 5g is on on it uh here on the corner it is on 5g i don't understand okay let me try to make a call i'm, not, I'm just gonna call 611 okay let me take the phone out of the range looks like now okay this phone is on even without calling actually it's doing that anyway let me click uh call just that's just a 611 call not really anything else when it's on a call actually drop down that's very very interesting in my oh no never mind it went up again so it keeps going up and down let me hang up the call if anything cha changes look at that okay and uh once the phone call is stopped it just starts going off the charts again this is very interesting now let me take this phone away or let me turn it off if it keeps doing that after the phone is off okay the phone is turning off right now and both the devices went to sleep that is very interesting let me take this out and let me put a phone that's only the phone itself this one does not have a sim card inside this phone i just put here and the wi-fi is not connected right now let me connect the wi-fi to it so we're gonna simulate that scenario and the wi-fi is connecting and as you see the middle uh device is picking on something which might be just the wi-fi itself and this one eh, here and then not really that bad i would say but it's very interesting 
I have another device that I can actually put here. Let me take this one out. Okay. I'm going to wait for the for this thing to chill out and calm down a little bit. Okay. It's another one of those cheapo devices. It does not have a SIM card on it and no connection is on it right now. Let me turn on Wi-Fi and see if anything changes. That's Wi-Fi they're initiated. It should connect by itself now. And the Wi-Fi just connected. And once the Wi-Fi connects, it still has some activity, but not as much as the Samsung with a 5G on it. This is very, very interesting. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this out. Uh, turn off its Wi-Fi just so we don't have any interferences okay so now i'm gonna try a just regular 4g lte this one is only 4g lte doesn't have 5g and it's just on its normal state right now doesn't really have anything going on on it no calls no downloads and it keeps going up and down by itself okay so looks like this uh this one here let me unlock it and uh, let me put on a phone call okay and let me put it, let me make a phone call with it near the devices. If that changes anything with a 4G only, this is a 4G only, not a 5G. And the call is being placed and I don't like what it does this with the app. Okay, now it's calling. And yes, the the call is going on. And it just goes in and out. Let me hang up the call. And yes, these two go up, but not as high as the 5G phone. Okay, now let me take this phone away. Let me put the Samsung Note 20 Ultra 5G. And right now, something else is triggering this one. This phone is not on. It should not have any problems. So anyway, let me turn on the phone and see if it goes higher than the uh, Samsung A32 5G. This is the Note 20 Ultra 5G. And let's see how, the, how this one goes. And so far, seems pretty quiet. It's not really doing anything. Okay, let me put this in Fahrenheit. Sorry about that. And the phone is starting. What well, usually when it starts, it does that. Well, at least the other one did it. The uh, A32 5G, when it was starting, it just put all these two, both these devices off the charts. And now it's just started. I don't know why it's taking so long. And it's installing the optimizing apps, it says, for some reason. And while doing that, as you see, the two devices are going off the charts. That's interesting. Way more than the 4G LTE. And yes, here in this location, I have, fortunately or not, I don't know, I have full 5G internet or coverage. And I'm not touching the phone. I'm not even unlocking it, as you see. It's just doing this whole thing on itself. Let me unlock the phone now and see if it makes a difference. And the phone is just unlocked right now. And so, yes, it's making it go off the charts again and it might be some of the apps on the background or whatever communication is going on is making these two devices go off but somehow not this one here what if i put it on top of it nope it doesn't do anything that is very interesting because this one usually detects more when it's direct electricity and i i can demonstrate that to you really quick and uh, let me take this phone away from these devices. Okay, the phone is away. And I'm gonna bring in a doorbell camera. Does this one trigger any of them? It's just now starting to connect. And uh, it will try to find Wi-Fi. When this turns solid blue, that means it's connected. And let's see when, it keep, when it's connected. Does it keep triggering them the whole time? And as I see here, looks like it goes in and out with them. And the blue has just turned solid the light has turned solid blue and no i don't see anything really bad let me hit the bell uh when you do that uh click it kind of triggers some but not really that bad and i brought this up to show you uh this device here this one somehow it's not being triggered by this camera at all okay just to demonstrate to you that this uh, other device works as well uh, i'm gonna put one of these uh, laptop chargers right here and uh, it's not really connected to anything but this one connect does more when you're talking about electric or maybe stronger fields i guess if i put it here it goes off the charts but it's touching the device but it's not if it's not touching it it doesn't really go that far as you see right now it's touching 
They put one of these here. Now this one here, for example, uh, doesn't care that much about this kind of electricity. <laughs> uh, let me put this one here. Uh, it doesn't really uh, do much, except this one. Yes, this one goes off if you touch anything electric. So just to prove to you that this one works as well, huh? That was the whole reason for this one. And with that said, I hope we learned something. And uh, it was very, very interesting, to say the least, what happened when we put the cell phones 4G versus 5G versus just the Wi-Fi alone. That was interesting. And I hope you learned something as well. And we'll see you next time. Bye.